Un coteau. Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. Le court est maintenant en session. Before we hand over to counsel for Mr. Ian Sari, the chamber wishes to ask counsel as to how much time would he need to put questions to the civil party and as to whether time has already been Uh, decided, allocated among the uh, other team. Uh, thank you, Mr. President <coughs> and your honors. I, ha I, have, I have approximately 15 minutes left, and I believe that the Cusampon team may have some time. But I was told earlier that there was no time, but now I'm, I'm being told that they want to have some questions. But I have about 15. I may be able to do it in less than 15 minutes. En moins de 15 minutes. Le président. 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 So, um, we're at the uh, the Faculty of Law, and we've already mentioned you running into your former boss, the general, who had been the former Minister of National Defense and the Minister of Public Works. And it is in your book, on page 29 in English, in Khmer, it's 00588140141, and French, it's 00587835236, and English, it's 00587564 Here in, in the book that you wrote, you indicate that the general told you a couple of reasons why Phnom Penh had fallen. One being Pour that there was a secret agreement that did not materialize with the Khmer Rouge. And then the other was that the United Khmer States government had been providing secretly information to the Khmer Rouge. Do you recall writing about that? Do you recall writing about it? Response: Yes, I do, Sam. Now, and this is what you say about it. Uh, because you're claiming that the general told you that the Americans had deliberately accelerated the country's downfall. Quote, we had secret codes for communicating with our units, unquote, this is what the general is saying. Each time we tried to contact our troops, we heard the voices of a Khmer Rouge officer. Apparently, the Americans had handed over our codes to the other side. And this is what I want to ask you about. You go on to say, it sounded ridiculous. Why should the, United, why should the Americans deliberately betray their allies? But now, listening to the general, it all began to make a weird sort of sense for the two stories complemented each other. The Americans were faced with disaster anyway. But they knew the Khmer Rouge 
to consist of two factions, the radical pro-Chinese pro and Sihanouk's moderates, now apparently being ruled by the Russians. From the American point of view, it would surely be better for the country's new rulers to be pro-Chinese pro than pro-Russian. Pro so the Americans might well have attempted to undermine the plot to form a pro-Russian coalition. coalition pro Do you recall writing that, sir? Vous souvenez -vous Response. Yes, I do. Réponse. Oui. And uh, on that part, uh, I would like to confirm that it, that's my position, and I wish to reconfirm this. Okay. Now. Or if you wish me to explain further on that, si and I'm pleased to do that. Well, thank you for asking me to give you the opportunity to explain. We're going to go step by step, and I assure you, I will give you the opportunity to explain, but you're going to have to keep it short. But first, when you wrote this now, when you wrote this passage, this is 1987, but you're saying here, but now listening to the general, it all began to make a weird sort of sense. Did you mean to tell us that when you were listening to the general back then, April 18th, 19th, 1975, that what the general was telling you made sense and that you believed him? Response. Yes, I did believe him. Oui, je l'ai cru. And what he said to me was made out of his honest speech. I don't lui, know whether he lied that to me, but it was an honest uh, piece of je information. Ne sais pas si il menti. And you believed him. Question. Et vous avez cru. Response. Response. Yes, I did. Oui. Sounds like, from Question. what I just heard earlier, that you continue to believe what the general had told you. Response. Réponse. Yes, I did. En effet. All right. Now, here's, the, here's what I want to ask you, because earlier, remember, I started voilà by asking you if you did some vous research vous in writing the book, and you said no. So, now I would like to ask you, based on what information or what makes you believe what you heard from the general, what's the basis of your belief, other than what you, knowing the general and knowing that he would not lie to you? Response. I think I may need more time to elaborate on this because I already put it all in the book. I am telling all the truth to the chamber and to you. But I wish to also add that uh, when it comes to the Khmer Rouge tendency, there are two folds of tendency one for the people who supported the, the Prince Norodom Sihanouk and those who supported the Khmer Rouge. And when Rouge. I met the Khmer Rouge first time at Wat Onalam or Onalam Pagoda, uh, those people were wearing khaki uniforms. Ces personnes portaient des uniformes khaki. And that's what we saw. And when Mr. Tapanangan talked uh, that uh, there was a negotiation for peace, 
so that everyone from different fac faction could join to build peace. And he also emphasized that if there was, if the negotiation broke, then there would be the Republican forces created so that weapons and supplies could be provided to them and supported by an outsider so that the power was balanced. I mean the balance between the two forces and they envisaged that there would be a coalition government in which the policy of the um, Funk could be used as the basis for uh, this effort. And I also was uh, convinced that that policy was uh, not uh, in favor of communism. It's more like a middle pass uh, policy. And I so wish to also add that People, who, uh, apart uh, from Lono, uh, did not leave country although Et they lost the war. Why they did not leave the country? There were Lono and Longbo Red and other senior officials uh, who remained in the country because they were still convinced uh, that such... Um, peace uh, would be uh, created and they could work together. On arrivait à la paix et qu'une telle coopération pourrait If I could ask you to clarify the other point, which I think may be equally as important and interesting, where you say that the Americans faced with disaster anyway, they knew the Khmer Rouge to consist of two factions. The radical pro-Chinese and Sinuk's moderate, now apparently being wooed by the Russians. From the American point of view, it would surely be better for the country's new rulers to be pro-Chinese than pro-Russian, which is why the Americans were trying to undermine the pro-Russian coalition. Which is this what you're saying? That's the point that I'm interested in you elaborating on. What makes you, what's the basis of your information? Why do you believe the general Pourquoi when he says general, that the Americans a dit que les were working in supporting the radical pro-Chinese because that's, that was their preference? Radicale, car celle I believe that uh, you have not fully covered the points I wrote uh, in the book. It was not uh, Mr. Thapanangan alone who talked uh, about the Americans. It was I who believed that it was most likely that it was the American. And I discussed this with other friends and I met with another military personnel who were wearing civilian uniform and they, he shared with me about the situation. He said that uh, when he contacted uh, people at the battlefield, uh, the response uh, he got was from the Khmer Rouge. So he uh, believe that uh, it was the Americans uh, who were behind uh, this and they could Et have known that uh, our people were cela. joining force. Et? And the Americans uh, would like to do its best to make sure that a coalition would not be formed uh, ultimately. And at the later stage, I also obtained uh, some information uh, from people from the Russian embassy because uh, people at the embassy were 
uh, driven from yeah. the embassy to take refuge at Ils the French été... embassy. So I draw, uh, drew a conclusion. And de France, I did not base my arguments on the information Donc, I obtained from this general alone, but I based uh, my Mais argument aussi, or conclusion on the information I obtained from my observations from various sources. Mes observations et de différentes sources. Thank you very much. So, in other words, if I understand you correctly, this, this is the, the American policy that you believe was in play at the time, based on your observations and your experience. Because today you talked about policies from 75 to 79. I suspect this is a policy by the Americans that you've concluded was in play at the time. Response. I may wish uh, to correct the timeline. It's it's not about 1975. Uh, it's uh, after Lono regime was uh, toppled down. Indeed, at the beginning, the American fully supported the Lono regime. Yeah. I understand. What I'm trying to get Lonel, is, and the point that I'm trying to establish is, this is the, a, an American policy sais, as uh, you understood it to be at the time. At that particular vous, time, this was the American policy that was being executed here. Just as you told us about policies that the Khmer Rouge may have had, this is a, a Khmer policy Khmer that, you, Ça, that you come to understand and believe selon vous, by the Americans. Du Response: It's not the, the, it's not all the case. At that time, Americans lost the war and were defeated. They tried to win the war, but after all, they were defeated. So, uh, by that time, they had to really decide to whom they give this power to Ils and they believe that the Chinese uh, would be the one who was closer to the Americans uh, than uh, the Russians. The President Council Canawans, uh, the Maître time is uh, perhaps appropriate already for you to finish uh, uh, putting questions. I have another Maître line of questioning, uh, which is only one one area. Oui, il me reste une this question. took a lot longer than I thought it would, but Cela a pris beaucoup plus de temps que je croyais. we have the entire day, half a day was allocated to us, Judge, uh, half a day, la moitié de la journée, half a day Madame, they, half a day us, not half a day minus a portion journée, for the witness, la moitié de la the civil party. Moi. So, uh, the Nunchia team had no participer. questions. Mais I was told that there were no questions. Uh, I like a young man. Que... Que pas questions. The President, the President uh, uh, Council, please be reminded that uh, the Chamber already informed you at the beginning that you should uh, uh, allocate some time also for the Civil Party to state his uh, statement of suffering. And to us, it appeared that uh, you consent to that. Uh, and we still have counsels for Mr. Kilsompon, who Il have not de de had the opportunity to, to put questions to the civil party. We understand that time uh, cannot be allocated equally, practically. The civil party should have approximately 15 to 20 minutes le temps to, to, to tell his side of suffering. I have one question to ask the gentleman about one passage that he wrote, and it's on the Khmer page 00588172-173. Now, if I'm not allowed to ask the question, I intend to read the portion into the record so it's abundantly clear where I'm being cut off by the trial chamber. And it's page 53 in English, and in French it's 00, 58, 78, 68.
Ich hab's dann. The President Council is hold on. Enjoy look with we and John Crowley. The President of the Council, can I was please read the statement you wish to do there? Page 53 in English, I already gave the ERN numbers. And he states, we stayed at Prec Taton for one week resting the children. We're resting. The children were carefree, playing in and around the pagoda. My student brought food. I tried fishing, but without success. It didn't matter. Life here was easier than at Chu Kamal. The locals, new people and ancients alike, were engaged in building a dam. Their timetable was more flexible than ours had been, with work starting at 9 and ending at 3. There was nowhere near the same dedication to work, either from the Khmer Rouge or the workers themselves. My student told me how all the Khmer Rouge leaders here were from the area, used to local habits. And knowing the locals personally, local, they were more locaux, indulgent. Et donc and de this is the passage I was going to put to the gentleman, having read this as a predicate. Lire, uh, this civile, confirmed uh, my general impression that there was no established rule for the whole country. In the pays. absence of published laws, en discipline de varied public, at the whim of each village chief. De la For some, des at least, de villa, des chefs de that was good. Pour certains, Life bien. must still be acceptable in many areas, I told myself, endroits, me despite dit. the evacuation, the separation, Malgré and the deaths. La séparation et les morts. At the end of one week, our little week, holiday came to an abrupt end. So the question that I was going to put to the gentleman was, does he still stand by this passage? that at the time, based on his experience in this particular location, and all his other experiences, that he came to the conclusion that the situation was not uniform in the entire country of Cambodia, but it varied from place to place, depending on who was uh, in charge of the area. And I think it's a most relevant question. So either he can uh, answer the question, or I can take my leave at this point in time. I'm at your disposal. But, uh, I stand by what I wrote in the book. However, I'd like to add some clarifications. That was what happened at the time during the initial, for the period of during the initial three months after we were evacuated from Phnom Penh. Les trois mois qui ont suivi l'évacuation de Phnom Penh. That was when we were under the organizations of the revolutionary Anka, and if you read the book in its entity, and it is my attempt to. Made the analysis for the first evacuation. The old regime was fully resolved. There was no longer a capitalist regime. 
Of course, life became non seulement j'avais été terminé, il n'y avait plus de capitalisme places. la vie était plus facile à However, certains endroits. Mais l'objectif had already principal been des Khmer Rouges then. avait déjà été atteint. I have no further questions, Your Honors. Thank you very much, Mr. Sir. Je n'ai plus d'autres questions. Merci beaucoup. Au nom de M. Yang Sari, M. Angoudom et nous-mêmes, nous voulions vous remercier d'être venu au tribunal et nous vous souhaitons bonne chance pour la suite. President, Alina, to give the floor to Le Kyo Président, to defense. la parole est à présent donnée à l'équipe de défense de Kyosampan. Council, thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honor, everyone. La défense. And good afternoon, Mr. Bennett Yatai. My name is Kung Sam On, counsel bon for Mr. Kyo Sampan. I have Kyo only a few avocat. questions for you. De Kyo Sampan, je n'ai que quelques questions à vous My poser. Ma question est relative à vos parents. Elle porte sur vos parents. D22 slash 3649. En English page 00793877, French 00568928. In that document, you stated that your father's name is Ben Toi and your mother's name is Hai Tang. And the question is why the names in this document are different from your statement that you made to this chamber this morning. Response. Thank you, counsel, for putting this question to me and giving me the opportunity to clarify the matter to the chamber regarding the differences in the names. When the president asked me the question, For my Ma mother and father's names, mes and I said the truth. Dit la Lin Chao was my Lin father's name, était le nom de mon père. and Lin Lon was Et my Lin mother's name. Était celui de ma mère. But in the official document, Mais my father's name is Ben Toi, and était my mother's Pen name is Hai Tang. Hai Tang. The reason is that. I Pourquoi? was born in Udong, Parce que je suis né à Udong and when I was about seven or eight years old, my parents sent me to study ans, in Phnom Penh since I was in the primary Penh. school. And I Car did not have my birth certificate, je pas and certificate there I lived with my distant cousin, je avec un cousin and then éloigné. she put me as her avec une cousine Son. éloignée plutôt. Or you can say Et they, elle they were actually my godparents. Comme son and I fils. stayed with them until the conclusion of my education in Phnom Penh. Council, thank you for your clarification. Question. You stated that you participated in the first evacuation from Phnom Penh to Kanda province Vous dites and avoir subsequently été you volunteered to leave Kanda province for Udong but instead of going to Udong you were sent to another location my question is every time you left from one place to another lors de vos déplacements successifs. and as you said that you, you volunteered to do so et vous dites que vous êtes porté volontaire. Why did you volunteer to move from one Pourquoi location vous to êtes another? Pourquoi porté volontaire pour aller d'un endroit à l'autre? Response. Réponse. I believe I already responded to Je this question. Je pense avoir déjà répondu à cette question. We were told that uh, anyone wanted to On go to our native village could go. Of course, we all wanted to return natal, to our native natal, village, natal, natal, village where sûr, chacun we were familiar with the settings and with the people. On For that reason, I gens, volunteered to go. Et donc je me suis porté volontaire. That's the first reason. Ça c'est la première raison. For my volunteer. Thank you. Question. What about Question. other peoples, if you know? Did those people also volunteer for the uh, aussi movement from one place to another? 
President, uh, with uh, civil party, please observe some pause. Le président, veuillez attendre quelques civil instants party. avant de répondre. For those people la who were in the same village, for example, from Chuk Ma to Sramoliu, they were all volunteered. And in Sramoliu, when we left Sramoliu for Batambo, we also volunteered as we raised our hands. Même chose pour But when we were in Amroka Pagoda, I met other people who came from various other villages, and some of them were asked to come, not on a voluntary basis. Thank you. Question. Question. What did you know about the policy changes after the 17 April 1975? Can you describe so briefly regarding the political situation after that day? La situation politique, les changements intervenus en la matière à compter du 17 avril 75. Response. The events that took place on 17 April 1975 was kind of many, many events occurred rapidly, and it is difficult to describe in chronology. Question. What I want to know is for you to tell us of what you knew, de nous whether the, what the regime would become after the victory of the Khmer Rouge, that is, immediately vos after the liberation and pour la later during the regime. Suivant la libération et pour la période du regime Response. suivant. Réponse. Based on my understanding and knowledge, I never thought that je sais it would have become that worst. Je jamais the pensé worst que that I thought was that they would si implement the policies je of the front. Mettre en œuvre and la secondly, I never de thought de that the Khmer Rouge would temper us until we lost our lives and that we were sent for tempering at the base of the Grovine Mountain. I could never imagine, imagine, ima imagine that. Of course, in my mind, I surely believe that they needed the educated sûr, people, the technicians, or the engineers. De instruites, le and even while I was en route, I still held to that expectation. Et même durant mes Déplacement, Question. Je continue à conserver what cet espoir. is your understanding regarding the market closure Question. after the liberation of 17 April 1975? De la fermeture des marchés après Response. Le As avril I 75? indicated, the Réponse. above organization of Hong Kai Le had their clear plan, which was preconceived. Avait un plan pré bien clair. One plan was to completely clear the remnants of the old regime, the markets or transactions which were remnants of the old regime. For that reason, they completely closed the market. Thank you. Question. You also said about uh, your life that you try to survive to uh, become better during the democratic Cambodian regime by battering your belonging for food, your clothing for food, for instance. My question is, did you conduct the transaction with any particular group of people? Ce truck. A-t-il eu lieu avec Response. un groupe de gens particuliers During the first phase of people's evacuation, Durant la première phase de l'évacuation, that is commencing from April 1975, 
1975 jusqu'à septembre 1975. Battering was kind of uh, easy going with the best people. Le troc se faisait And when we were in Wilbon, which was a second phase of evacuation, battering still existed, but it was with the, the best people or the Khmer Rouge families. It was possible at the time troc continuait, mais surtout avec les cadres Khmer Rouge et leurs familles. That is during the, the four months period from September to December 1975. De septembre à décembre 75. It's because there was no cela a continué. communal dining. We ate separately. On ne prenait so pas encore des repas collectivement. Uh, for food. Et donc, on pouvait échanger nos However, affaires contre de la nourriture. Une fois à compter de janvier 1976, it was a communal meal and les repas all cooking ont utensils were confiscated. And if we, if they found us having rice in our pot at home, si we would have been in trouble to kill. Si l'on découvrait que nous avions so nous risquions des problèmes et nous risquions la mort. Les conditions de vie sont devenues misérables. J'ai perdu, à ce moment-là, j'avais perdu 11 membres Question. de ma famille. You indicated this morning Question. that uh, corruption existed matin, during the Khmer Rouge regime. Par exemple, regarding les rice ration, rice ration notamment en ce qui concerne les rations de riz et la distribution de riz. Et que les rice cadres dans un job as a kept uh, some of those rice raisins, in particular in Pursata province. Rouge du riz, notamment dans la province de Pursata. The rice raisin itself did not reach all the people. Vous avez dit que les rations de riz n'étaient pas distribuées à tous et que les cadres personnel gardaient du riz à des fins personnelles. My question is the following. Voici ma question. How did you know about that? Comment le saviez-vous? Response. In fact, Réponse. we could not say that the Khmer Rouge retains the rice ration and the distribution was not uh, sufficient. I said that initially there were about 5,000 of us, but uh, some of us died. Khmer Rouge gardait le riz pour eux et il n'y avait pas so assez de riz pour the, être the Khmer Rouge distribué. could say that only en fait, 5000 people, 500 people died but in fact 1000 people died. So then they Khmer could Rouge keep the ration for the 500, 500 people who died. And why I said so? Because I saw those uh, Khmer Rouge si le dis, families parce que they vu mattered des for, de for things for watch and gold, for instance, with the rice. And how could they obtain the rice? They could only do so through this uh, personal gain. And that it means they, they kept the rice uh, dit, for those people who, who actually died. Qui était censé so at least the more people die, the more rice they would have. Donc plus des gens mouraient, plus Thank you. Avaient de riz. Question, does it mean that the Question. rice uh, that they kept for their personal gain was not a policy from the upper echelon, but it was Donc, the personal il du riz gain eux, mais ce made pas une by the cadres at the base. Dans haut, -ce pas? Il gain que Response, les I believe de la so. Base, -ce pas? Thank you. Réponse. Je Thank you, que Mr. Pendiatai. I have no further, further question, Merci, Mr. Mr. President, Pendiatai. for this Je civil party. De questions à poser à cette partie civile, Monsieur le Président. President, thank you. Le président. Merci. Mr. Pen Yatai, Monsieur Pen Yatai, in your capacity as a civil party, and as you have been civil, informed this morning, comme cela that you would be given matin, the opportunity to make a statement of suffering and harms inflicted upon you que vous avez subi, physically, emotionally, and materially, which were the direct result of the crimes physique, occurred moral, during the regime. Et ce par suite des crimes and those crimes were alleged against the three accused, that is, Nuji, Yangsari, and Kyo Samphorn. Les trois accusés, Yangsari, Nuji, If you wish to make such a statement, you are now given the opportunity. Vous pouvez, à présent, faire une telle déclaration. The floor is yours. 
Civil Party. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon Merci, once again, Mr. Le President, Your Honours. And good afternoon, everyone in bon and around the courtroom. We all know that many people died. Comme nous le savons tous, beaucoup Is de there gens any new family that did not lose a family member? Y a -il une seule famille many people qui died. Perdu aucun my beaucoup younger de gens brother and my younger sister's family died. La and even with my family cadet ma itself, my wife mort. and En ce qui me concerne, three ma femme et trois de mes et trois the enfants family members, sont morts, ainsi que des membres de ma famille élargie, this morning, soit 18 personnes, comme je le dis ce matin. All died, tous sont morts, except myself sauf that moi. Survive. Je suis le seul survivant. And that I have the opportunity to testify ce qui fait que je suis en mesure today. de venir déposer aujourd'hui devant cette chambre. And to start with, I'd like to express my satisfaction and happiness for the establishment of this court and for the opportunity that is given to me as a victim that I lived through the Khmer Rouge regime and what I experienced and the harm that inflicted upon me, and not just about the money about the, the house, but it's the loss of my argent, career, my profession, ma maison, my, my life, ma ma carrière, my wife, my children, ma and my parents and femme, relatives. Mes enfants, mes parents, Although the court establishment is rather late la and that it, is, est that it had been smeared with the various issues, but I believe the chamber is of a historical nature in order to find justice for the Cambodian posés, people. In particular, this chamber pour ce de au conducts its hearing transparently and that it has its means to do so, tout, so far in order to fulfill its mandate under the tight scrutiny euh, of national si and international observers. De son mandat sous la surveillance At this junction, I have only one suggestion not to make to the chamber. I want the prosecution to complete Je prie as soon as possible so that justin, justice can be done either for me and for all the victims. Que possible, pour que and in order les to achieve this goal, a lie to appeal with my honesty en toute to all the three accused. Je aux trois accusés who used to be the leading revolutionary who had high ideology that you should adhere to your high responsibility within the context of history and that you should volunteer yourself for your self-criticism, for your leadership of the revolution during the time that you were fully in power. And if you, the accused, are willing to conduct your self-criticism, you would clearly see the undeniable result through invaluable and countless evidence, namely the countless graves and mass graves and pits throughout the country. And that is the mass crimes committed by the revolutionary Onka. Onka destroys hundreds and thousands of Cambodian souls des centaines de milliers no de Cambodiens sont ainsi and that morts is pour merely to implement the communist ideology pour appliquer l'idéologie rooted in a sound theory but that it would not be acceptable by a lay person the leadership by the revolutionary Anka destroyed a beautiful and abandoned country and that led it to a poorest a level and that its citizen was in its hand way unimaginable. One main mistake by the revolutionary Anka was its pride on this collective ideology rather than through 
find solutions Elle s'est appuyée for its sur l'idéologie plutôt que d'essayer de trouver des solutions de rendre heureux of le peuple, a of a ce qui constitue la general. responsabilité d'un pays quel qu'il soit, d'un dirigeant de pays quel qu'il soit. You cannot deny that you did not know vous ne what pouvez pas dire que vous ignoriez ce qui se passait, car l'Ankar elle-même a dit qu'elle était partout, qu'elle avait as many eyes autant as the eyes qu'Anana, throughout the Cambodian territory. et qu'elle pouvait voir tout ce qui se passait au Cambodge. And after you conduct yourself criticism, you destroy your accused, so confess your crimes vous willingly vous accusez, vous and honestly, avouer vos crimes de façon so that honnête. you can still be proud to be your exemplary revolutionary Ainsi, for the misdeeds that you conducted, and finally, méfaits, after you make your confessions, enfin, après avoir fait des aveux, of course, It would be more best for you to express your apology to the lost souls of the victims and the surviving victims who are still living today. And if you can afford to do that, si I believe faites, this trial chamber can conclude its mandate very soon with its purpose of finding the truth and justice for the people achieved completely. La Complètement. It's been 38 years, 38 years that has passed through a great tragedy occurred in Cambodia, cette grande and we are all advancing in our age, and we saw those things so that we could relieve our mentality, our feeling for the remaining lives. Of, dans la perspective for the remaining of our life. du reste de notre And vie. I strongly believe if my appeal is heard and si accepted vous acceptez and mon appel et que vous y répondez, and make a positive decision by the si three accused, vous décidez, vous we, accusés, the three victims, would be relieved nous, greatly victimes, nous, all nous the bad soulagés. memories, anger, sorrow, les tristes souvenirs, would notre colère, notre gradually Tout cela dissipate from our mind and feeling. And of course, national reconciliation will be achieved for the sake of our children and generation and for our country. Thank you, Mr. President. Petits enfants et au nom du pays tout entier. President, thank merci you, Mr. Panjatai. The hearing merci, of your Pen testimony as a civil Votre party has come to a conclusion. You are therefore excused. Vous pouvez quitter le prétoire. And of course, your testimony may contribute Votre to ascertaining the truth. In this case, you may return to your residence or wherever you wish to do so, and we wish you all the best. Court officer in collaboration with the Visu unit, please assist Mr. Benyatai for him to return to his residence or wherever he wishes to do. Mr. Benyatai, you may now leave the courtroom. President, I'd like now to give the floor to the parties to make their remarks or observations regarding the scope of the testimony of the civil party Penyatai if you wish to do so. I observe that, that there is uh, no party who wish to do such a remark. The chamber would like to inform the parties and the public that Alors, tomorrow and uh, next week public, the chamber will not conduct any hearing due to the health issue of the accused Nunchi, who is being treated at the Khmer Soviet 
Friendly uh, Hospital de l'amitié avec Mero soviétique since the night ce, of the 2nd February 2013 and he is still being soir, treated at the hospital il continue de recevoir des and soins he à does not waive his right for the hearing of testimony pour entendre of a la witness or a civil party or an expert who is to be heard next ou partie civile que la chambre a prévu de citer à comparaître prochainement And today's hearing has come to a conclusion. Or, the court is now adjourned, and it will terminé. resume on Monday, the 18th of February, commencing from 9 a.m. The hearing matin, on Monday, the 18th of February, 2013. The chamber will hear the, la the testimony of the expert Elizabeth Baker. Elizabeth Baker. This information is for the public and for the parties. Ces informations sont communiquées Security au public et au parti. Agent de sécurité, veuillez conduire M. Kiosampan et Yang Sari au centre de détention et les ramener dans le prétoire le lundi 18 février 2013 pour 9h du matin. Pour M. Yang Sari, ce jour-là, Yang Sari devra être conduit à la cellule temporaire du sous-sol. Presence of Nunchi, the chamber will inform the parties later when we receive further information from Nunchi. Du moins informé en temps utile lorsque la chambre aura reçu des aura reçu des informations de la part de Nunchi. The court is now adjourned. Donc, l'audience est levée.